Gents, we are in video tutorial number three of your workbench. In this video, we're going to look at how to assemble the table top onto the legs that we've constructed. So the first thing I'm going to do is have a look at the legs that I have now and decide which one of these is positioned perfectly for one of these corners of the table. And if I have a look at these legs, this one over here, this last one, will fit snug in that far corner over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what we call the move command in SketchUp and it's these four arrows, right? So or alternatively, I type in M for move. I'm going to take a corner, I'm going to choose a corner to reference and it doesn't matter which one you use as long as the corner or point that you choose, you're able to place it against its corresponding corner of the leg. So in other words, I will take this top, let's take the top inside corner, right? I'm going to click on that corner and watch the, the table starts to move. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to this top corner over here, which is going to be its corresponding or matching corner in the assembly. I'm then going to click there to release the table so that it sits flush on that, um, on that leg. Now what we have to do is we're going to have to rotate the rest of these legs and position them according to the corners that we have left over. I'm going to start with this leg over here. I want this leg to be positioned so that it can fit into this corner over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rotate command, which is a shortcut for, which is a, has Q as a shortcut. Alternatively, you will click there. So I'm going to go Q and you'll see a protractor um, shows itself or appears. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this far outside corner, right? And I need to give a full rotation of 90 degrees in this direction. So I'm going to make sure I get a nice on top sort of uh, perspective. Click on that point. Then I'm going to release and click on that point and I'm going to pull it around until us you should get a green. You see that green starts to highlight on, highlight on that dotted line there. Then I'm going to click again. So let me repeat that. Right? I'm going to click, release. Click, Swing around until we start to see the green highlight. There we go. And I'm going to click again. Now I have positioned this leg perfectly for this little corner here. And again, it doesn't matter what you reference, which point you use to move it, as long as you get the corresponding point. So I'm going to release this command with spacebar. I'm going to highlight M, click, click M for move. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different point to, to express or show a different way of doing it. I'm going to click this top point here and I'm going to find its corresponding point which should be this point over there. Now my two legs are situated or positioned perfectly. Now I'm going to repeat the rotate command with these two legs to slot them into these little nooks over here. So I'm going to use this one in this positioning over here which means this point here has to move across diagonally to this end over here. So I'm going to go Rotate command, right, and I'm going to move above this one. I'm going to click here, right, I'm going to click here. So click and release. Let me do that again for you. Okay, so it's Q for shortcut. Click. I'm going to use this edge as a reference. I'm going to click over here again. Then I'm going to rotate it all the way around until it sits on that perspective. You can see to, to correspond to that little spacing over there. I'm then going to hit the move command. I'm going to again, I'm going to use again that top inside corner. You can reference whichever as long as you correspond. And I'm going to go and slot it in against that point and then click. Right, one more leg to do. So let's go and rotate. Shortcut is Q. Right, now I'm going to position it here. Now you need to obviously use your What's about you? I'm going to then go from this point here. You can see how now it's gone in green. I need it blue, which means I'm going to need to orbit a little bit until I get more of an a, a upright perspective. There it is. Click, click, and then rotate until I'm in position. Make sure that it fires green along that dotted line. Click again. Move command. I'm going to click the in top inside corner again. And I'm going to go positioned against the top inside corner or corresponding point on the table. There we go. So now we have positioned 
the workbench legs, we've assembled it into position. And in the next two videos, we're going to look at how to do the long support and then the two short supports for the legs to stabilize the workbench.